You mean, it's real? The woman asked in a low voice. Her husband's eyes were looking out toward the empty road, following Sam's look. The Traveller? Sure, it's real. Why do you think they don't make that model of car anymore? It's real. I knew somebody who saw it once. Only... There might even be two or three Travellers. Sam said, watching the distant glitter of light. There was certainly a car coming. Just a car, although it was still too far away to tell for sure. A haunted car? Gee... The woman said, her eyes wider. It isn't a haunted car. It's just one of the earliest makes of automatic highway cars. Everything automatic. Steering, destination set, just like any car is nowadays. Only it wasn't quite perfect somehow. They got into their car, Sam said, his eyes picking out distant, microscopic details. The high, flaring fins, the double headlamps, lit up, although it was broad daylight on the road. He knew what the rest would be. It was moving so slowly, but it always moved slowly, barely 30 miles an hour. As if somebody wanted you to look and see. They just got in. The way anybody would do, Sam said. They set a destination, and the windows closed up, and the air conditioner went on, and the car went out on the road. Only it never got there. Wherever it was going to go. But... The woman looked puzzled. Wouldn't anybody stop it? I mean, wouldn't it run out of fuel, or... Well, how did the people in it get out? It just does what any car does. It gets fuel when it needs it. You can't just stop a robot control device, not till it's good and ready. They'd starve or something. The car called the Traveller, rolling at the stately 30 miles an hour it always held, it was coming down the road now, and the two men stood, watching. The woman, a little behind them, watched too, her face growing whiter. No one said anything as the old-fashioned car rolled by, straight and steady down the highway, holding the centre of the lane as sharply as it always did. There was a film of dust inside the windows, though the Traveller was clean and shining outside. But the film did hide the white bone faces, the despairing hands that had long ago stopped trying to break through those closed windows. They never did get out, the man named Jack said as the Traveller rolled on, growing smaller along the endless road. I don't mind it when it goes past. I really don't. It's just a car. Things like that used to happen. I mean, it's a car. Even when it stops to get gas. I don't have to pay any attention, Sam said, his voice thinner edged. He looked at the couple, his mouth loose. As long as it just goes on, that's all right. But I keep thinking someday it'll stop, and the door will open, and maybe, maybe they'll want lunch. <laughs> Outside, the big hangar doors of the repair shop opened. The car that had been inside appeared. It moved out and stopped. Its doors opened invitingly. Uh, your car's ready now, Sam told the couple. So long, folks. Have a nice trip. <laughs>